How's it going everybody? Mr. Biz here and I have a treat for you guys today. This is uh, going to be a Dead and Alive uh, tutorial on High Charity and I'm showing it from the uh, start of the map here. So the skulls I have on for this are uh, Black Eye, uh, Spudnik, Feather, and Bandana. And you know you could really do it with uh, you know different skulls if you you know a pretty minimal uh, approach if you want to but it's really fun to launch the dead and alive player around with the uh, with the extra physics skulls and everything so um, so the first part of this is you're gonna want to get the sword um, it's pretty critical for the setup and also uh, make sure that you'll see I got pretty lucky there and that box is sitting right in front of the door uh, make sure that that happens and if somehow all the boxes fly off, you know, start over because you're, you're going to want a box for this setup. Now the first thing you want to do is preserve, uh, there's a checkpoint that happens when all the enemies have died in this starting area. And you want to make sure, you can see I left the grunt there just in case he was the last uh, enemy by any chance, by some chance. And um, yeah, so that's kind of the first general part of this. Um, get rid of the uh, infection forms they're uh, a problem and I think in a minute here you'll see uh, so see just by chance a, a brute um, a brute ended up down there so he's gonna be my uh, my checkpoint holder um, yeah and again when you kill all the enemies in this area you'll the, the checkpoint will uh, will happen so um, all right, taking out the grunt there since I know the brute is available, and you're gonna want the box in front of the door, and so go into the uh, pelican, and then with the other player you're going however you have it set up. Um, just make sure that you kill the last enemy, and you also kill yourself. You don't necessarily have to get this far with the setup, but it's it's a little bit better if you do it this way. So. Um, kill the last enemy and make sure that you die with him and then wait for this preceding checkpoint and that's the first step there it is cool all right we have our first checkpoint uh, and as you can see we have the pinch so if you if you're not familiar with how the dead and alive works when you get in a spot where the game what we call the pinch where the game can't respawn the player um, somewhere on the map the game has a preloaded biped that you're going to control and when that player gets killed that's how you end up being alive in your own dead body so and that's right here I'm gonna reveal where that location is uh, at the start of high charity here so as you can see I'm uh, these brutes are bothering me as I'm trying to get <laughs> trying to get the box in um, and so if you look in that see there's a brute right up against the you can see the plasma rifle glow from the preloaded player there you can see there's a brute up against him the the enemies will actually attack the preloaded player believe it or not so they see uh they see an enemy and and try to kill him so that's kind of a funny effect uh from the preloaded player being suspended like this so you can see the, see the glowing plasma rifle in that little cubby um, so I'm taking out the enemies here. Also, as soon as you go into this pink into this room with the pink door, uh, you'll get a checkpoint. There's a there's a checkpoint that doesn't time out, so that's why I'm delaying right now. Um, and see, it didn't matter that the my partner spawned there because we're gonna go back to the uh, pelican once the brutes leave me alone. There we go. So see, the brute took off. So check it out. So you saw where the where the preloaded player was. So make sure that your box is close enough within striking distance where you can smack it and and splatter him and see right now I'm, I'm delaying the checkpoint and it doesn't really matter that uh it doesn't matter that the uh the preloaded player isn't there yet but make sure your partner doesn't spawn because keep in mind i'm i'm delaying the checkpoint uh as well okay there we go so check it out so i got a checkpoint with the preloaded player created in the pinch so watch this will all come together here you'll see uh you'll see the point of doing this whole setup and it'll It'll blow your mind. So there he is. There's the preloaded player. He's standing right there. And I smacked the box into him. He got splattered. And bada bing. Dead man. So that's the first part of this uh, setup. If you want to experiment with this uh, for yourself. Um, that is how you do it. In most, in most maps, the easiest way to create the dead and alive is, is by finding the default spawn location. And 
and uh, splattering the preloaded player. Um, and so this is why I watched this uh, launch here. So this is why I like having all those skulls on because it's it's pretty fun. I mean, you can just go anywhere. It's it's pretty cool. So this is going to be a long long drop to the bottom here. So our guy is finally at the bottom of the level. As a part of this video, I'm just kind of, you know, throwing in some some exploration with the uh, tutorial as well. And there you have it, bottom of the start of high charity, which is something that looked and seemed impossible. And uh, check it out, another, another little Easter egg here. So I guess that the uh, the Warthog run got, got textured in the new graphics. You can see it in the upper right there on the top screen. Um, so in the new graphics, you kind of see the... Uh, it shows you where that uh, run is supposed to take place as far as the true coordinates on the map. So that was, that was noticed pretty early on when MCC came out. That's not my discovery or anything. Okay, all right, guys. So the, all, that, all that stuff so far you know. But, now we're going to start getting into the really weird shit that's going to blow your mind. Okay, the first thing I'm going to show here... I can't remember, honestly, because there's a lot of clips in this video. I think I'm... going to... Ah, yes, so check it out. So if you'll notice, as soon as I get the box close to the player... Uh, that has allowed me to hold, uh, to hold the preloaded player in place. So see, look, I'm not delaying, and the game can't teleport him to me uh, during the normal respawn function. So check it out. I moved the box in place and blocked the point, uh, blocked the, the, the default spawn location, the respawn location. So um, this was something that I discovered uh, by accident on Cairo Station, uh, that you actually can... You can move the you can move the preloaded player around if you block the default spawn location with uh, an object or um, something else that you know doesn't move. The boxes are perfect for it. There's a lot of levels where the box you can do it with the boxes. And as you can see, I'm just kind of pushing them pushing them right along here. So that's one of the uh, one of the more interesting uh, discoveries that has happened since the initial. Uh, the initial work uh, me and Hark and LDG did to figure out the dead and alive, so that's kind of cool. And another uh, another interesting observation coming up here with the preloaded player is that uh, the preloaded player will uh, hold uh, hold the doors open uh, as if you were uh, in control of your body. So that I think you'll see. I'll, I'll step away in a second here and show that. Yeah, you can see that he'll, uh, kind of like when an enemy stands near it, you know, it's just, it's a, it's a living biped, there's just no one controlling it, so, that's a funny, uh, funny aspect of the programming that, that still works that way. And apparently I'm trying to stab the camera, sorry about that, it's very, kind of a weird thing to try to do. Okay. So let's have some more fun with the preloaded player. So, as you can see, you can move him anywhere you want. Uh, and you're about to see a very, a very rare situation. There is a death zone right there, uh, a kill volume. And you're going to see what happens when the preloaded player gets pushed into the kill volume. Uh, well, I guess you can see this at the start of a uh, quarantine zone. Uh, with those gr with those green fog pits, but check it out. So as he drops in, you see him get killed by the kill volume. But look, he hasn't respawned yet. So the fact that the box is still blocking the default spawn location, the, g the game can't do anything about it until you move it. So the dead preloaded player is laying right there in the kill volume, uh, and obviously you saw his weapons drop down, like I showed in the Great Journey video. So, hope you guys find these effects interesting. There's a uh, there's a lot to it that has not been revealed. So, and that begs the question: 
uh, what happens when you finally clear the space? Um, and if you'll notice, that happened really quick, but what happened was that the preloaded player got created in place, and the con control of the player respawned inside of him, and then he flew and teleported to the living player. It all happened in very quickly, so watch that again, frame by frame if you can, so... Interesting effects indeed. Okay, let's see what's in the grab bag of clips here. See what happens in this next one. Oh, okay, so I'm uh... <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, if you uh... I if the spacing is right, you can actually block the default spawn location with just your player that you are. So, I'm holding him just by standing there. Just a demo of that. And there you go, so that shows what normally happens as soon as the uh, the default spawn is not blocked anymore. The, the game will successfully uh, respawn you. And then, also what I'm showing here is that you don't need to do anything related to the preloaded player to block the default spawn location. Check it out, the box is sitting there and player 2 can't even spawn. So, that's another inter interesting effect that uh, if you want a permanent third person view, for whatever the reason for fun or for filming, that's uh, that's how you can do it. Okay, well, in conclusion... Um, yeah, this is a pretty weird game. I, uh, it's... <laughs> this is, uh, the physics of respawning are uh, a lot more complex than you would ever really expect. And um, I, I still just don't understand it, really. Um, <laughs> But hope you guys find this uh, some of the observations and experiments uh, fascinating with this. And um, yeah, I appreciate the interest in people wanting to understand it. Uh, thanks for for watching and you know liking and subscribing and commenting. So if you guys didn't care, I wouldn't even make these videos. And you know I appreciate everyone that that likes to watch this stuff. So um, anyway, enjoy this uh, bonus clip that I had on my hard drive, which is. You know, we've done it before, but a while ago it was discovered that you can end the level by hitting the volume trigger over here. And uh, if it hadn't been done in a different way, we would have done it with the Dead and Alive this way once it was discovered. So, anyway, I appreciate you guys and thank you for watching and the views and everything. And hope you found it interesting. So, bye. Get to Earth. Good luck. Let's run through the truth. They'll make a girl a promise. If you know you can't keep it.